All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharallah, back at it again with another Lord's with an edifying lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who still go out there in the hollows and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible. And Ruel, and Shalom, Labachoyim, Wabarakim, Jayashirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashon Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. This is the book of John, St. John 7 of 38. This is Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who the war ignorant calls Jesus Christ, who was a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, according to the Bible. This is St. John 7 to 38. He that believeth upon me, as the scripture have said, meaning according to the Bible, not according to your emotions. So those that are of the hopeful elect, okay, and particularly the men of the Lord, that believeth was goes into having faith, and Yahweh by Hashem Shai, according to what the scripture has said, all right, according to what the scripture say, it says, out of his belly, which goes back to the uh, to your mind, shall flow rivers of living water, right? Which, which what's, what's the uh, the characteristics of living water? It's constantly flowing. It's not stagnant, okay? Because uh, stagnant water, it's all murky, it's all green, it looks disgusting. But constantly flowing waters is always fresh. It's clearer, all right. It's more beautiful, all right. It's more of a a, a, um, a beautiful sight than stagnant water, okay. So that's exactly how this wisdom and this knowledge, and understanding uh, of the scriptures are compared to these GMO doctrines that these false prophets, teachers are pushing, man. And living waters is always flowing. You know what I'm saying? The abundance of information you're always leveling up in the truth. Get a more understanding of the scriptures and apply more of the scriptures as the Lord is leveling you up. Because it's Yahweh by Shib Shah, who the world even calls God and Jesus Christ is the one that increases our understanding. Oh, as a matter of fact, hold on. Matter of fact, uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Um, bear with me, bear with me. Let's see. Let me see if I can grab it. Let me see if I can grab it right fast. If not, then I'm just going to move on to the next scripture. You know, because it's Yahweh by Shem Shah. It's not of us. You know? Let me see. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and go to the next one right fast. Let's go to the book of uh, Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. What is it? The second chapter. Got my list. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 13. This is Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 13. And it reads, For my people, which are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, according to the seed line of their fathers, have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, which is referring to this word, this understanding of these scriptures, man. Because our people think they got better things to do than to come back to serving the Lord. So that's that's very evil in the eyes of the Lord, man. That's why the Lord is judging our people left and right and these heathen nations, man. It says, they have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. It says, and, and, and hewn, which goes into cut. It says, and hewn, thou, and hewn them out cisterns, broken cisterns. That can hold no waters, right? They don't got the truth. They don't got the understanding of these scriptures, man. You know, and of course, back in those times, they actually literally uh, made cut it out wood and stones and made them idols, man. You know, and they do the same thing to this very day. Just look at um, what went on in Gomery, Alabama. All right, that bra. Jake made an idol out of a chair, man, out of a wrestling chair. Here it is, you know, you know, our people went WWE and them Edomites. Now our people, uh, these so-called Negroes, you know what I'm saying, which is from the tribe of Judah, are making idols out of a wrestling chair, man, out of a WWE chair. Instead of uh, uh, serving Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, you know? So that's why, 
They 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 destroy him for the lack of knowledge, man. The ox know of his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel do if not know, neither do they consider, man. So they believe in the lies instead of believing in the truth from the servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord, beginning with our elder apostles, in order to bishops of great millstone, and the elders are taught our apostles. All right? This truth been going out for a long time, 50 plus years, man. And what are the majority of our people doing? All right? They still ain't uh, listening, but we understand that the two-thirds ain't going to listen. It's only for the elect. So now, let's go back. Let's go from there to the book of Psalms. This is the book of Psalms. Let's see. 36. This is Psalms with the 36. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to go to a point to the point. This is Psalms 36 verse 9. This is a psalm of King David. It says, For with thee, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushad, is the fountain of life. You see that which is referring to the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of the Bible, which comes from fearing the Lord. Fearing the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushad, who the world ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ, man. And then you get the then he'll increase your understanding of the scriptures. So this is Psalms 36 and 9. For with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. You see that? And who is that light? Yahweh Shai. Who the war ignorant calls Jesus Christ, man. This fly is bugging me. Hold on, hold on for a second. Right, there we go. The water you by Shima Shai. And Lo Yahweh Shai, who the war ignorant calls Jesus Christ, said he was that light. This is the book of St. John 8, verse 12. Then spake Yahweh Shai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. Which that word world goes back to the Greek word cosmos, which is the Israelites, beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel. Because the two-thirds of our people, the Lord is darkened, and they're going to stay dark until the Lord destroy them. It says, He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life, which is referring to the understanding of the scriptures. All right. That's why we don't walk as fools. We walk as wise, man, because we understand what's going on and what's going to happen before it happens, man. Now, therefore, walk them circumspectly, according to the Bible, according to the way how the Lord says to walk. As a matter of fact, walking the way how Lord Yahweh shot walk, because he was circumspect. He's the greatest example. So go back to Psalms 36 and 9. It says, For with thee is the fountain of life, and it's like an in thy light shall we see light. Right, in the light of Lord Yahweh Shah shall we understand the, 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 the scriptures, man. All right? It's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah uh, that unlock the understanding of these scriptures to apply these scriptures as we learn. So now let's go from there. Let's go to the Apocrypha. Hold on for a second. Bear with me, Salaki. Hold on for a second. All right, Salaki, for that interruption. So this is the book of 2nd Edges 14. Let's see. I'm going to start at verse 45. This is the book of 2nd Edges 14 and 45. And it came to pass when the 40 days were fulfilled that the highest spake, saying, the first that thou hast written, publish openly, that the worthy and the unworthy may read it. To, but keep the seventy last, that thou mayest deliver them only to such as be wise among the people. So that, that's what we out there to uh, for the edification for the elect, man. Because we understand the two-thirds ain't going to get it. They ain't going to understand the scriptures. But we still got to give them the warning. That's why we go out there on the highways and hedges and make these daily edification videos for the elect. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that the two thirds still can be warned, right? That's blood off our hands when they receive the judgment. It says, verse 47, here's the point. For in them, in the scriptures, is the spring of understanding, the knowledge, like the fountain of wisdom, and the stream of knowledge right in the elect in the in the, we you know what i'm saying we call ourselves the hopeful elect because we're hoping to pray that we be a part of that number but the holy spirit of yahweh by shimmy howard shy is dealing with us man beginning with our elder apostles and other bishops of great millstone we say that you know humbly 
you know, through faith. Because look at the examples that these other groups are showing, man. They're teaching false doctrines. They're being a bunch of hypocrites, all right? They're doing all type of a bond about act behind closed doors, you know? So, hey, <laughs> y'all by Shimon got to be dealing with, you know, somebody and ain't with these other groups. It's damn sure ain't with the wacky, tacky Christians and these other false religions, you know, these false servitudes. So, hey, out of process of elimination through faith, the Lord is dealing with us. That's why we were able to break down the scriptures the right way, how it's supposed to be broken down. Beginning with our elder apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone. So now, because let's go from there to uh, the book of Isaiah. Let's go to the book of Isaiah 55. Let's see, hold on. Uh, matter of fact, hold on, let's hold off that one. Let's go to the book of, uh, uh, let's go to John. Let's go to St. John. This is the book of St. John, the 14th chapter. This is the book of St. John, chapter 4, verse 14. This is the book of St. John, chapter 4, I'm going to start at verse 13. Yahweh shall answer the said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again, which is physical water, right? It says, verse uh, 14, But whosoever drinketh of the water, I shall give him, which is referring to the spiritual water, the living waters, the understanding of the scriptures, shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him it's like a, but uh, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up unto everlasting life. Right. Because, you know, if, if first the phones begins with the knowledge and the wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. And if we be a part of the elect, the elect is going to get banged up to those ships and get those immortal bodies, man. OK, to never die again, to never sin again, to never go off again. All right, and we're hoping to pray that we be a part of that number, you know, that make it on the first go round. Matter of fact, hold on. This is the book of uh, Proverbs. Let's see. Uh, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 5, verse 15. It says, Drink waters out of thy own cisterns and running waters. Out of their own will, which is referring to the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of these scriptures. Because like Lord Yahweh Shah said, you know, you could drink little water, but eventually you'll you'll be thirsty again. But the living waters, the spiritual water, the understanding of, the, of these scriptures, uh, you know, you'll never thirst again. And it, that's why we're always satisfied through the spirit, you know, because getting fed and drinking spiritually, you know, is well profitable than getting uh, physical uh, food and water, man, you know. Cause this is what's keeping you stable in these times, not literal food. Although we do eat literal food, you know what I'm saying? You know, you need it. But the understanding of these scriptures, you know, the edification of the scriptures is more important. So now that's why Lord Yahweh Shah said, and he quoted from uh from Deuteronomy the eighth chapter, that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh by Shib Yahweh Shah, through the holy prophets, the men of the Lord. Because hey, when you get fed spiritually and get that the spiritual water, man, it's like you it's like you ate a full course meal. You're satisfied, you know. So this blessing living water, we can we can't we can't thank the Lord enough of um allowing us to have it, man, and to apply these scriptures. Cause it was of the Lord's will to to, to uh, open up our understanding. Cause we was once in the world, we was once dead spiritually. But now the Lord brought us to the light of life. He called us from out of the world, from amongst our, our people. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah 17 and 13. O oh Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. Yeah, you're going to be ashamed, man. Like that scripture we brought out at camp, I believe it was last week, poverty and shame. So I come to those that's pretty much being disobedient, man. The Lord's going, going to gradually take away what these false prophets, teachers, and leaders have, man. Those riches, those governmental benefits that Sleazy E gave them, all 
right? And they're going to be breaking their necks right along with the average two-thirds to get the truth, man, to look for the real servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah 17 and 13. O Lord, the hope of Israel, all, not some, not half, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed that they didn't listen to the men of the Lord, that they depart from me shall be written in the earth because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living water. So you're going to be destroyed on this side. You got to go. The two thirds are going to be destroyed on this side, but they're going to come out through the lawns of the elect in the kingdom, man. You know, be reborn in the kingdom of heaven through uh, sexual intercourse, you know, between the, you know what I'm saying, the men of the Lord, the elect, you know what I'm saying, men uh, and men and women, man. You know, it's contrary to popular belief. There's going to be a whole lot of sex in the kingdom, man. So that's another lesson for another time, Lord's willing. I pray that this lesson was edifying. All right. Call her Lion Lai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Double honors to our elder apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone. Lord's one to next time. I say Shalom, Lord's willing.